Hey, it's Riley. I have some more updates to my transition, and I'm going to try to start posting a little more on YouTube because I finally, finally am in the process of getting top surgery. So I have my top surgery consult a week from today, and I have been counting down the days. I thought it was going to be like three months out when I made the appointment, but it only ended up being about three and a half weeks. So that was really exciting. I have been, you know, thinking of all the different questions. How much is it going to cost? What type of procedure am I going to have? When is this going to happen? All of those things I don't know, but I should know in a week, hopefully. I... I'm just really excited to even have the consult. Like I just wanted to celebrate having the appointment because this is something that I've wanted for so long and it's really gonna give me just the freedom to live as myself. I feel like my posture is so effed up because I am always trying to hide my chest. I have a small chest, but it still bothers me a lot. So I'm just excited to be able to just like puff my chest out and be Riley and be more confident than I already am right now. I will most likely be paying for this surgery out of pocket. Therefore, even when I go to the doctor next week and, you know, she gives me a date for top surgery, I might have to wait possibly a bit longer depending on the cost. I have a certain amount saved and there's a certain amount I can budget out of my current income towards surgery. And all of that is just kind of unknown uh, about how much I'm going to need. I have been looking for jobs recently. I actually got a job offer at a nonprofit that was willing to give me really good benefits, but the pay wasn't really what I was looking for. And the job was also not exactly what I was looking for, so I declined that. Um, I don't even know if I would have been able to use that those health benefits towards surgery. So I am continuing to look for jobs, but really my substitute teaching pay, especially when I get long-term assignments, is a lot more than jobs that I've been searching for. So I'm just kind of sticking with that since it pays the most um, and I'm mostly a healthy individual. I go to clinics that are on sliding scales, so I don't worry too much about the health benefits. I haven't had them for so long. I have switched doctors that I'm seeing for my HRT and... I was going to a clinic for about a year and a half and like throughout that time my testosterone levels were really high and they kept lowering my dose. You might have heard me talk about this in a different video, but if you haven't, like my dose kept getting lower and lower and my testosterone levels continued to stay the same. My most recent blood work shows that my testosterone testosterone levels are like in the right range, um, but I was continuing to then start have start having my period. Uh, that started back in, I think, June or July, maybe. So I was like at the right level, but now I'm getting my period back. So it's all just kind of like messed up. And my other levels, like my hematocrit, my hemoglobin, there's a few other, like some liver levels. Um, those were fine for the most part. I think at, at first when my T levels like super high, those were messed up too, but really it was just my testosterone was too high. So with all that being said, I am switching doctors. I'm seeing an endocrinologist now. So kind of a little more specialized in this. And uh, I found out that I have to stop testosterone for two months, which was really like heartbreaking and upsetting at first. I'm kind of more used to the idea now. I've been off hormones for about a week, so I still have a ways to go. Uh, I was worried that my changes would reverse some of them, but after talking to a few people, 
they assured me they wouldn't. They want me to stop hormones because they, I never got initial blood work done. I wanted to get that done, but I went to this informed consent clinic that said, hey, you don't need initial blood work before you start T. Sounds not, not too intelligent, but I went with it. And now nearly two years later, I am having to stop hormones because the doctors are wondering what does Riley have in his body without these hormones. So that's why I'm stopping. I'm hoping the time will go fast and then once they figure out what's going on, if they ever figure out what's going on, I can start back and I don't know, get more changes. I don't know. I feel like I've, I've leveled out with changes at this point, but there's still a lot of things I'd like to see, but I think having top surgery is really going to help me a lot. I have continued to use minoxidil, and you, you're you supposed to use it twice a day, but sometimes I don't use it that often. I try to do it as much as I can, but um, I have to be careful with it. I have seen um, some more growth. Really, I think on the camera, all you can see is like this hair that I've got here, which I had before. Um, I definitely have some more hair like on my cheeks and coming more in my sideburns and a little more on my mustache actually. So that's been exciting. I got misgendered like three times last week, like right in a row. So I don't, I don't know like what else I can do. I want to start going back to the gym. I feel like if I put on some more body weight, that might help or muscle. But I think at this point, it's like I've been on T for nearly two years. I'm obviously not going to grow facial hair very well. I, I don't know. I just, I think I have to start learning to accept that misgendering might just be a part of my life and not to be angry with it and just know who I am on the inside. So I'm going to stop there. I have more that's been going on, but um, I just want to focus on like transition updates right now. I will be doing another video in a week or so after I have that top surgery consult. So I'm excited about that and I will catch you then. Goodbye.